Hey everyone, we are the Gratitude Girls. Hello everyone, Lori, it's so great to see you. The Gratitude Girls are in the house. When I say it's great to see you, I really mean it because I know that in a very short period of time, I'm going to really see you. So 2023 is the year to do all kinds of things. Let me introduce myself before we hit on this hot topic tonight. My name is Catherine Asaro Myers, affectionately known as Rara is in the house. And I'm broadcasting to you live tonight from Niagara on the Lake, Ontario, Canada. I'm here with my awesome partner, Lori. And I am Lori Delfordecki, and I am in a little town outside of Nashville, Tennessee. And yes, we will both actually be going live next week from Toronto, Canada. Which is amazing. So here we are. You say it, you write it, you read it, and it happens. Like, how far will you go to network? Lori, you walk the walk, you talk the talk, because you are absolutely doing it. It's not like you're walking here, but you talk about it. We both say we want to be together. That was our plan from day one. And here we are. So let's talk about networking for a couple of minutes. You know, how do you network? I'll, I'll touch base on, we live in the country. <laughs> Niagara on the Lake is country. And I network in Toronto at a club called Verity. And when I say network, it's where my network is. I also go there for self-care and relaxing, and pool and gym and different types of spa treatments. But I go there because I really enjoy it. So I will drive 140 kilometers one way to be there. Not to mention that you'll be getting on a, on a plane, but I do this on a regular basis. So yes, there are local places to go, but this is a club that is private and exclusive to women. And to me, it's a, it's a haven, it's blissful. So I'm around like-minded women who are maybe not there to network some days, we're there just to relax, but we have a networking component. And once a month, I'll go there for eight o'clock in the morning to be with a group of women who wanna network. <laughs> I don't wanna ask what you do, but I know, what do you do to go the extra mile? Yeah, well, so, I mean, for the last four years, I've been kind of semi-retired, but for 16 years, I have been known as the queen of networking in Nashville, and I ran networking luncheons seven times a month, every single month, and I drove anywhere from the closest one to me was 30 minutes, because I live out in the country too, so the closest one was 30 minutes. The farthest one was a little bit over two hours. And I did this seven times a month, every single month, different places all over middle Tennessee. We had 20 to 50 people in the room every time. And at all the Jonathan's Grill locations in middle Tennessee, which is a local restaurant in this area. And, but it was wonderful. And I taught and did coaching for different people on networking, the same thing, every single Friday, Thursdays and Fridays. We did the luncheon from 1130 to one, and then I would do coaching from one to five for an hour each client and teach people how to actually network because a lot of people, they go to networking meetings and what do they do? They go there because they want to give out their business cards and they want to sell their services or their stuff, right? And they want other people to buy it. But why are the other people there? Well, they're there because they want to sell their stuff and get other people to buy their stuff, right? So how do you actually network then if everybody wants to sell their stuff? Right. Such a good point. When we walk into a room, we know ahead of time we're there for an hour, an hour and a half, whether we're running it and organizing it or you're or somebody else is organizing it. We know that we want to connect with people. So the days of passing out, flinging and swinging a business card are really over. A, because now we use everything digitally, but really we understand that the relationship is far more important to connect with someone. So if there are 50 people in a room, you decide before you go in what you're going to do. If you're in Zoom, it's the same thing. I, I like to say to have a plan. So one tip I would offer is to have an idea of maybe meeting three people or four people and having an idea of 
speaking to them, not just giving your name and number, but having your name and their name connected. You can do that through digital cards, put the information in your phone. I still use my send out cards contact manager and I take pictures and I send people cards right on the spot when I'm live because I find that very effective. When I'm on a Zoom call, I take three names, four names. I make sure I know where that person is and I go and I follow up with them. I will ask them if they want to connect with me and I will follow up on social media. The currency is to go and pay attention to people on social media and not just send them a little love, but really go and maybe boost an algorithm if there is such a thing, but go there and show up in their audience. So I would say go in with a plan and execute that plan. And please don't pick up your phone when you're talking to someone unless you're taking their information. Right, yes, exactly. And make sure that they're the person that's important to you, right? I remember I went to a Mary Kay training. I wasn't ever in Mary Kay, but I loved her trainings. And so sometimes she would have open trainings to other people and I would go and I went to one and I heard her tell this story about how when she was way younger starting out in her entrepreneurship and this guy that was this author wrote a book that was and she just like thought he would hung the moon you know and she waited in a line for like three hours to go see him after this talk he did or something. And she could see, she was so excited. She was waiting to get up to him. And when she finally got up to him, he's like signing the book. He's talking to her. But while he's talking to her, he's looking past her at the row of the people still in line. So like not even giving her the eye to eye contact. And she said, she just felt so unseen. And she vowed that she would never do that to anyone ever again. Hmm. And I thought that was such a huge lesson. I took her training too. We had something else we have in common that we just learned live tonight. <laughs> we'll have to we'll have learn to stuff after 10 years. <laughs> we'll have to talk a little bit more about this. So go in, have a plan, know how you want to make people feel, know how you will interact with them. And if you say, oh, just a minute, I'm expecting this call or this, just know that people are going to feel next, nexted. Is that such a word? So make them a priority. One quick last tip that I'd like to give is run your own networking group if you know how to do that. This year for 2023, I actually launched something. It's once a month and it's open and it's free, no rules. I won't get into that, but launch it. Do something, host a party host a group, host a networking group, host it online, have it at your house, take the initiative and do something and give people a reason to say yes to you and that they want to come and be with you. Yes, absolutely. And yes. And you know, the, the saying goes, if you want to have lots of friends, make yourself friendly. Right. And so some, some people, you know, they say, oh, I just don't have any friends. But how much are you going out there making the effort to make friends? So we, you know, we've been in this transition for a while of, you know, we were renovating, we were moving, then we we're renovating a house and, and then living in a little tiny place. And I love to host events at my home and or other parties or couples even. And so we finally, we still don't have our kitchen table. We ordered one and it's being custom made. So we still don't have it yet. It took, it's taken like eight months to do. But so we finally got our chairs that go to our peninsula. So it's kind of like an island, but my kitchen's U-shaped. But so we finally got those like a month ago. So literally once a week, we've had a couple over for dinner and getting to network and just talk. And, um, but it's like, you know, I had missed that because I am so used to doing that, but, and it's, 
you know, and you can, you can do all kinds of different things. You can still, like we would meet couples out at restaurants, but I just, I, it's more comfy and cozy in your own home. Right. But you could still do it at restaurants. So we would still do it like that. But the same thing, if you want to expand your network and your relationships. So one thing I've done is I downloaded a long time ago, my entire Facebook data. And so I have it on a notepad and I go through and I don't get to it every day. And, but when I do do it, I do it a couple times a week and I do like five to 10 people. I go to their page. I like, love a couple posts, comment on something. And then if they're local, I invite them to dinner. And so that way we can actually meet in person or coffee or something to get to know people better or just to connect, build that relationship because relationships are one of the biggest things. And we talked about that in one of our other shows. If you didn't see that, you can always go to gratitudegirls.com and see all our other shows and training for free. And yeah, Catherine, anything else before we go? I love what you said. I was just going to piggyback on that and say, invite people over for dinner. I remember once Bob Golden said to me, the best compliment you can ever get from anyone is to have them invite you over to their home for dinner and invite you to their safe haven. So invite people over, let them get to know you and be the person that they want to be with. Based on the time, Lori, I think we can say, if anyone wants to get with us, they can hop into another room with us and you can tell them how to send us a message. Yes, absolutely. So go to facebook.com slash gratitude girls, make sure to like our page, follow us, add us to your interests. Also, like I said, go to gratitudegirls.com. You can see about our other coaching there and you can see all of our free coaching that we have done for almost three years, I think now, um, every single week. And so follow up with us. Also catch us on all the social media channels, Gratitude Girls or Lori Delk or Catherine Asaro. We'll see you next week, people. Good night. Thank you. Good night.